All right, these are just some notes uh, on the difference between equilibrium and non-equilibrium. So when you're analyzing force vectors, and you always have to ask yourself, is the object in equilibrium or is it not? And that's just, is it accelerating or is it not? So anytime you're in equilibrium, all the forces acting on any object are balanced. Uh, the net force, which is the sum of all forces, is zero. Therefore, the net acceleration is zero, which means the object's either at rest or it's moving in the same speed at the same direction with a constant velocity. If you were analyzing the force vectors, um, as an example, you would see balanced forces in the vertical direction and in the horizontal direction. So you would look at all the forces individually. There's 120 newtons pushing down, but also 120 newtons pushing up, supporting the, the mass. Those are balanced in the vertical direction. If there's 50 newtons pushing to the right, but also 50 newtons pushing to the left, those two forces are balanced. Therefore, you have a net force of zero. Therefore, you have an acceleration of zero. This will always be true in equilibrium. If it's, in, if it's not in equilibrium, that means it's accelerating. Therefore, there's a force, and this is Newton's second law. A, force, a net force is required to create a net acceleration. Therefore, the forces are unbalanced, and the net force is not zero. The acceleration is not zero, and the net force always acts in the same direction as the acceleration of the object. So, for example, if you have some mass, let's say a 24 kilogram mass, uh, that has 240 newtons pushing down on it and 240 newtons supporting it up. Those two forces are balanced up and down, so they cancel out. But if you have 350 newtons to the right versus 30 newtons to the left, those are not balanced. And you can tell the force acting to the right is much larger, you can, as described by the length of the vector, than the one to the left. And the difference of those two forces, 350 to the right minus 30 to the left, gives you a 320 newton net force acting to the right. So this object has a net force pushing it to the right, therefore it has a net acceleration to the right. And to determine that net acceleration, apply Newton's second law, which just simply says, acceleration is net force over mass. 320 Newtons over 24 kilograms gives you 13 Newtons per kilogram, rounded to two sig figs, which is 13 meters per second squared. Moving to the right, if you look at your uh, SI units. The easiest way to tell if it's in equilibrium or not is just to look at the free body diagrams to see if there's any unbalanced forces. We're going to apply this to a handful of problems next.